We can uh, bring to home uh, the advice of the experts, uh, the tips and tricks that even can save some life. The late-breaking trial is the one that really changes the game. That's the things I really look forward to and really lived up to my expectations. Please give a look to what happened with the patient number two. Thank you for being part of the clinical trial. The mission of the PCR Critical Research course is to highlight the fundamental link between clinical research and best clinical care. Critical thinking, participating in a study, running a study. The course is tailored for those of all levels and enables participants to confidently become more proficient actors in the field, both as individuals and as a team. What we want particularly to achieve is to raise the awareness that if you are a good researcher, you become also a good healthcare professional. Many modules have been designed to enhance the critical thinking and give the um, participants the instruments to approach a study, a trial or a registry. I really like the clinical research session uh, because it uh taught me a lot about how uh, we should look at a trial. Well, I've never been much of a fan of uh, statistics. I finally understood what a p-value <laughs> is, and I can go back home and explain it. <laughs> the patient has received the uh, heparin, so the ACT is about 300. So we are ready to uh, deploy the claret. You see, it, it takes uh, one minute, uh, and then we will throw the wire just to be on the safe side. I would like to present the results of the transient trial. This trial investigated... So currently there are no recommendations in the guidelines how to treat patients with transient stem eye. In our trial we randomly assigned 142 patients with transient stem eye either to an immediate or a delayed invasive strategy. With uh, respect to the uh, primary endpoint of our trial, infarct size measured by CMR, we did not see any difference between the two treatment strategies. Um, infarct size in the immediate group was 1.3%, infarct size in the delayed group was 1.5%, both very small, especially if you compare them to what is reported in regular STEMI trials. Furthermore, we saw no difference in uh, TIMI major bleeding, nor in uh, MACE at 30 days. This suggests that uh, patients with transient STEMI can both be treated immediately or delayed with similar outcome. To highlight the importance of imaging in interventional cardiovascular medicine, some of the most bewildering and puzzling images have been submitted to this year's call for images. Curiosity is at a peak as participants try to recognise what's before their eyes.